It's a great day when you're, I get more, I get more questions on this sweatshirt probably than any other piece of clothing item my own. Although Jake just felt my pants. I was like, yo, I need those. They're Gymshark sweats. We're about to play the game we play each time I step onto this scale. What does Steve weigh? So I am almost two full weeks, like a week and three quarters on the swole program. I'm gonna see what I weigh right now with the camera. 211.9. The scale just ran out of battery. All right, well I was 211.9. I don't know how much my camera weighs, maybe a pound and a half, I don't know. That means I weigh, I would, I would say I probably weigh 210 right now. Put on a, a solid pound um, in two weeks. The scale is mad at me. I need a new scale. <sighs> Today's a back day. We're about to get this going. Mr. Jacob Hutton and Mr. Sir. Alec Baker. Day seven on the swole program. Today is going to be the uh, back day. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a high volume back day. It's gonna be a muscular endurance back day. Steve's over here dancing. Is that you. better? Is that better facial expressions? <laughs> Jake was clowning on my facial expressions earlier. I, now, so. I mean, we can just, if we want to Should enter watch the video, back slow motion. <laughs> There's a lot of, uh, what's that, what was that? The fizz face, remember that back in the day? Fizz? Yeah, you know, like you like, it's like you just smelled some dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> make a clown on my face. It's gonna be a big back day. Can though. we even make this into an intro at this point? Yes, we can. Okay. It's a big back day. All right, big back day. So the goal is gonna be um, high volume and really gonna focus on muscular endurance today. So we'll start the workout out with uh, just doing a few movements just by themselves, sets of 15. Everything today is basically gonna be sets of 15, super high volume. Um, but first things first, we're gonna get going with the warm up, so let's get going. Check your ego too. Big thing on this. If you can't do uh, pull ups, 15 unbroken, do some assisted or get a partner because there's nothing worse than seeing that guy at the gym. You don't wanna be that guy at the gym just kicking your way up to get your, your chin above the bar. So make sure that my muscle connection stays intact the entire time. You wanna connect your mind to your muscles. See, this is, this is the best warm up you can do. And I even like to warm up for my dance moves during the warm up. They start off slow. Jake said it's creepy the faces I make when I dance. I'll, let you, I'll ask you guys, is this better? Or is this better? No facial expression? Well, what do you guys think? That wasn't my best dancing. I'm just warming up still. That was horrible. <laughs> All right, pull-ups. Starting off three sets of 15. Check out Jake. See how he's coming all the way down? And then he retracts his scapula at the bottom, comes up, keeping the elbows wide, chin goes above the bar. His legs aren't swinging. He's not doing his CrossFit pull-ups here. He's a real deal pull-ups. No, nope, I did not. Oh, they like they're old. These are Gymshark sweats. I'm gonna put in the link. No, no I'm not gonna put a link. I just said that. I was, I'll put Gymshark in the link, but I have no idea what these are called. We're gonna get Jake a pair though, because he likes them. You want this color or the black? Are they just selling them? Yeah. You want this color or black? Both, man. All right. It's the benefit of working out with me. I'm a good workout partner. Yeah. I don't show always, I don't always show up on time, okay? But I'll get you some Gymshark sweats. I don't never show, show up, up on time. time. Don't always? Always. <laughs> never shows opposite. up on time. <laughs> I don't so know. Very, very reliable and not showing up on time. Hey, at least I'm consistent. <laughs> I'm consistently late. <laughs> 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 that was my partner. 
gotta go rest pause because my partner's not spotting me. Be a better partner than that. You messed up. You seen the NFL? Like, this is the new dance. when you score. Oh, yeah. The Kirk Cousins was better. What is it? Yeah, I don't know what it is. They just do this. It's like Weekend at Bernie's. Weekend at Bernie's? Maybe that's, no, that's more like. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so I was going to say it's that's Weekend at Bernie's back. mixed with this thing, you know? Oh, mixed with uh, flossing. Flossing, yeah. yeah. Hey, anyone? <laughs> tell us in the comments below what this dance is in the NFL when they do this. Like if I was a big fat like D lineman, I'd do it. It's called flossing at Bernie's. Floss. Flossing and at Bernie's. And the Conor McGregor, but not walking. Oh, that's, that's true. That's true. You guys, this is Brody. You guys didn't know Brody on the channel. He's the man behind the scenes. I don't know exactly what he does, but he's important. He has Bingo. a uh, very red beard, so we can't get rid of him. It's definitely brought out by <laughs> the red in of, his shirt. Brings a lot of morale to the group. You need to wear more red. Just to make it sure does. The know. flex. The flex of red. At least you can grow a beard. I can't grow a beard. It is coming up on November, so it's I am no going to try to grow a mustache. I thought it was no sit November. Well, it's that as well. No okay. what? No sit. Like you don't sit down? You can't sit at your desk. Or on people's faces. <laughs> Cut that one out. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> um, but no, Movember too. Oh yeah, I, think we're I saw that Movember. Testicular cancer awareness, yeah. I think. There's not Everyone, enough. You go, you basically just clean shave, right? And then yeah. just grow Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Because that's the only thing I can grow really is a mustache, so. Don't give me that look, Alec, like I'm going to be a pervert. Alec wouldn't go grow a mustache. And this is a, for testicular cancer awareness? Uh -huh. Yeah, man. Well, I'm not going to do it, but I'm aware that it exists. <laughs> so Every time you see my, my mustache now, you're going to be like, shit, your testicular cancer is real. brought awareness to me. See? And all of you out there in YouTube land. All right, I pride myself on my shoe collection. Not, not too many people in St. George that I'm like, hey, your shoe game's on point. My man Kelly here. Yo, his shoe game is on point. These just dropped like a week ago, didn't they? I believe so. These are like the hiking boots, which I don't recommend actually hiking in these because they have an air bubble and they will pop. But those are clean AF. That stands for as free. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, as long as we're giving shoe shout outs right now, check out my man Jake. Yo, Old Navy. 1999, mow the lawn in them. You mowed the lawn in 1999 on those? Damn. No, they cost 1999. Oh. Um, and then I kind of wanted to go the for the fresh, green, greenish hue to the sole. Would you say so that's like a denim with the green on there? Yeah, so I mowed the lawn, and that's why they look so good. They didn't look this good before I mowed when, the lawn. When you're 240 pounds and 4% body fat, you don't need shoes to make you look good. 4% <laughs> body fat <laughs> plus 10%. So I was told back when I first started YouTube that I had like a gym voice. So I do my YouTube videos, but what's up guys? I feel like there's a couple people out there in the fitness industry that do the same thing, but like you get super serious. So we now refer to that character, as you know from my Instagram, as Jim Douche. So this is gonna be a Jim Douche set here. I'm gonna try to keep my shit together. <laughs> I'm not doing anything I'm different. Anything out of the <laughs> oh, you like that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're talking to Alex? <laughs> Talking to you, YouTube. <laughs> oh, hold up, Alec. You're right in my way from the mirror. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> Woo! So on this chest supported row, on these high volume days, if you do have straps, this is probably the day to do them. The day to use them, because this is where, for 15 reps, your forearms start blowing up. Or if you really want to work on your grip strength, you know, go to failure till your grip fails and then strap it up. Our third thing, we did a pull up, a row. We're now doing a pull down, supine grip. So we're using that supinated soup. Remember this, pronated, supinated, supinated. Remember this, pronation, and then this is supination. Is that what it's called? Exfoliation. Like exfoliation. Pronated. Yeah, you could like supinated. have soup in your hands. Yep. That's how I was always remembered it. A little cup of soup. You know it's getting heavy when I do the double breath in between. That's 
Are you giving a smile or more creepy? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I can't look at the camera and not smile. I love you guys too much. You might have fun in between sets, but when it's time to go, it's straight face. I'm dancing. Serious, and then it's time to lift. Ten bad bitches in a man. Wrist on, baby, rock no diamonds on his back. Last two exercises for back. It's been a good pump so far. A lot of volume today. Finishing off with a variation of bat wing row. You see Jake's elbows are flared out to his side. What this is going to do is going to put more emphasis on that upper back, a little bit of trap, as well as the rear delt here. You're going to get done with this, and it's going to feel like any other row you've ever done here. So we're going to be supersetting this with a rope pull down to the waist here. It's a great one for that lower lat. So these straight into the rope pull down, and then we take a break. Supersetting it with our rope pull down. As you can see, Jake starts, arms almost all the way straight, and pulls to the hip. You very, very uh, slight elbow bend. You never want to, we're not, we're not using triceps here, so we're not gonna go from a bent to a straight. He's keeping that slight bend the whole way, really recruiting a lot of that lower lat there. And you can see finishes with his chest nice and high. How'd you get to 280, Steve? Tofu scrambles. <laughs> tempeh, tempeh bacon on a gluten-free sourdough bread. <sighs> you know, I'm feeling like a couple spicy today. I'm feeling sassy. Cause on this program, I'm feeling like I'm back to my old self. Assume the power position. Look you straight in the eye. I'm alpha. <sighs> Hey. That's plenty heavy. I'm feeling I'm feeling some old soldier nation styles. Got me reminiscent. It must be the pump. Pumps put me back into old Chad days. Should we get Chad to come get a workout with the three of us? I don't know if the internet could handle that. I don't know if YouTube can handle that. That might be like, you know. Mike Chang, Don Mazzetti, like the old school YouTubers coming back for a party, huh? Should we do that? Thumbs up this video if you wanna do that. All right, after our back, nice and blown up, you won't even need to warm up your biceps because we've been using them as a secondary movement and everything. So we have our easy bar. We're doing reverse grip curls here. We're doing this by itself. So this is our basic mass builder today for our arms. As you can see, Jake keeps the elbows by his side all the way up and all the way down. That's one thing Jake always does a really good job of, is full range of motion. It's the bicep dance. All right, the last thing we got today is gonna be a cable slant curl. So on this exercise, you wanna focus on really trying to keep your elbows behind your body and squeezing it all the way up here good so the rep scheme we're going to be doing today we're going to be doing a drop set steve's going to hit 10 lighten the weight hit 10 lighten the weight hit 10 more then we'll rest for 90 seconds and we're going to be doing three total drop sets so it's basically a 30 rep set we're going to be doing that three times i was just mesmerized by how my bicep looks right now after that bicep pump if you guys want to see all of these workouts, they are dropping tomorrow. Tomorrow on Fitness Culture, we're going to put the link in my YouTube description. Go over there and check it out. Those videos are all a lot more in depth. We get Coach Hutton in there, we talk about all of them. Um, and it'll give you the link to where you can download the free week in the SWOL program. So, so this is, we've done over a full week now in the SWOL program. And uh, I'm up about a pound, so my nutrition's been a little bit better, been eating a little bit more, and definitely just noticing with all the volume that we're doing, getting a lot better pumps. So I, I definitely think you guys, if you're interested in bodybuilding, this will be the most fun program and probably 
most fun because you guys are gonna get the maximum results out of any program you've ever done. So definitely check out it. We'll give you a full week for free. And uh, yeah, it'll be up tomorrow on Fitness Culture. So make sure you're subscribed to that and like this video.